Okay, so initially I wasn't really planning on posting this video because I thought it was kind of common sense, but um, I decided to add in some of my own thoughts at the end, like plans that I have for continuing on next semester. So I decided to post this video anyways. I shortened it down a little bit. So there's that. Um, so yeah, here's the video. Hope you enjoy. I will have a better video coming out next week. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. But for now, go ahead and enjoy the video. Okay, so I know this isn't one of my usual HY Chronicles series videos, but I just wanted to get this video shot and put out there because right now, especially at this time, a lot of students, a lot of my friends as well, are getting ready to get packed up again and go back to the college campuses, which would be nice. It would be nice. Except this little thing that I don't really want to mention on video. So anyways, what I wanted to talk about today in this video, as you can probably guess from the title, is just decision and thoughts about moving back to campus or continuing college education or taking a break, etc. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about that, just coming from a current college student's perspective as well as taking perspectives of other students, like maybe a private school student or international student. So I thought I'd just start out by talking about the freshmen and then move on to the other groups of students, like, I don't know, public school students, my school um, in particular, and then private school students, like what Harvard is doing. So talking about the freshman situation first, a lot of freshmen, I think, have been thinking about taking a gap year this year, and for good reason, because a lot of the times when you're a freshman, you're going to university, the fun of the college experience is, you know, going to meet people, going to events, going to attend, parties and all sorts of events to meet people and connect and network and have fun but with this situation going on right now I think a lot of people are focusing on trying to maintain their health trying to minimize like interaction between other people um, and just really you know get through with life without being affected by this current pandemic and so a lot of the events organized by universities, organized by clubs and frats and sororities will inevitably be cancelled or affected one way or another. Um, and another thing is like housing. A lot of times, I know for me at least, my experience in housing, the first year was pretty great because I made a lot of friends. We went over to each other's rooms and played games and things like that. I just don't see that as a really plausible thing to do anymore. I mean, you can be careful. I mean, like if I were to do it, I'd be extremely careful about that because you don't know who's asymptomatic, who might be caring, who might have gotten infected recently. You just don't know. There's a lot of unknown variables. And for a lot of people, that can just be really like anxiety inducing. I wouldn't put it past others to have the same feeling as myself. So considering different options, I know some colleges are putting freshmen on campus even though their classes are online just to get like a more college-ish like experience. And I think that's fine and all, but even so the experience might just not be the same. And so that kind of just leads on to a second type of option, which is just to take your classes online and just forego the initial college experience which should have been the norm but isn't now anymore due to the current situation you know if you're that type of person if all you want to do when you go to college is to take classes and not really care about the social aspect then yeah I mean that's totally fine it's up to you it's your choice and ultimately that might be better because you're learning from the comfort of your home you've got your family around you, you've got you know the comforts around you still. It might be a good experience for you to have, you know, just learning online and doing all of that. That would certainly be an option for some students. But I know a lot of other students are also considering the option of taking a gap year. And that is essentially where you defer your admission to uh, like the next year. And then within that year, you do something with your time. Maybe it might be working on a passion project, it might be taking on a part-time job, it might be even just you know relaxing and chilling for a year before starting university. Another option, which I actually just got from a friend after a conversation, is going to a community college first and then transferring those credits to a university. If you're currently planning on doing a transfer, to another university. It might be good to consider doing community college and then transferring those credits to the university you were planning on transferring to in the second year. So for example, one of my friends is currently planning on attending GSU, but she's also considering doing community college and then going 
to transfer detect directly because the transfer ratios are the same for some community colleges and that might be a lot better because of the more online aspect. So we talked about the incoming freshmen, now let's talk more about the students who are returning from break and getting ready to start their next year. There's actually a couple of options for us as well and this is something that I personally had been struggling with a lot in the past couple of weeks. There's a lot of things to decide because it's not just, you know, one decision and then that's it. It's if you make a decision, it'll have a rippling effect amongst your other activities as well. So you really need to be comfortable with your decision when you start making it. So obviously one of the most straightforward solutions is just going back to college. Like I have a lot of friends who are doing exactly that. They're just going back to college. They'll probably be, you know, more careful, they'll be more cautious on campus, maintaining wearing masks and not going to that many social events and things like that. That's definitely an option, like for um, my college especially, because my college is offering some online but mostly hybrid, which means that we still have some in-person elements inside of the curriculum. So moving back to, or like around campus at least, would be a smart move. For those universities like Harvard who are offering like fully online courses, it would make sense to either stay at your home and take classes from there or just stay wherever you are right now and take classes from there. Um, I have a friend who's from Harvard and he's just living in Atlanta just, you know, for a semester or so taking classes online from Harvard but staying in Atlanta just because it's closer to home. There are, however, a lot of people that I know who have concerns about safety, and that, that includes myself. And so there's another option, which is submitting a leave of absence from the school. And what that means is you basically take like the equivalent of a gap year. You basically submit a leave of absence to your university saying that I'm going to just take a break from academics and from the university for a year and I'll come back next year and so that's how that works. And so for people who kind of don't really want to face the pressure or the burden of like going to university and always wondering about the health precautions that the universities and other students around them are taking, that's certainly an option. And I think this is like slowly gaining popularity amongst like returning college students is because there's no way of knowing whether or not students around you are going to be following the same precautions that you are because there's just there's such a fluidity between the college and then the surrounding towns and especially if there's a big city like right next to your campus like mine is that's a much much bigger risk and so students like me there's that option of submitting a leave of absence and pursuing some other thing like you know making your own app or doing, doing your own passion project for a year or something like that and so yeah, I just want to kind of get like get this off my chest. I've been thinking about this stuff a lot and so personally I haven't made my 100% decision yet. I'm leaning towards one decision and you'll probably find out anyways through my vlogs and stuff like what I decided to do next semester. But there's just a lot of things to think about. I just wanted to speak it out, get it off my chest, maybe help a couple other students out there who don't really know what exactly they want to do when it comes to going to school, returning to school, ever going to school, you know, things like that. So, if so you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, thank you so much again for watching today's video. Follow the guidelines set by your local authorities and the CDC, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.